In this episode, we are going to look at how to create menus and submenus on our blogger website. This is a menu where we have different links that take you to different categories. For example, when you click on Android here, this should take you to all posts that have the label Android, only those. And if you click on tutorials, that will take you to tutorials, gadgets, this is a menu and these are sub menus under gadgets and then this is a menu called tricks this is a sub menu called tips and tricks and under that sub menu we also have another sub menu called internet tricks that is what we are going to learn how to create in this video so let's log into our blogger dashboard and once we are here we have our posts and our blog which you can view from here currently it is looking like this we have a menu that has this that come with the template so we are going to work on this to make it our own so we shall create a menu basing on the labels that we added on our post and we can also create a menu that links to other websites or even pages on our site so let's go to our layout then to create menus we use a feature called a uh, link list as you can see here at the top of navigation this template has a link list in case you are using some other template and you just need to create a link list you can do, it, do so by clicking on add a gadget like here if we don't have li this link list we have this kind of thing like add a gadget so we can click on add a gadget then from here we choose a link list like this one display a collection of your favorite sites blogs or web pages for your visitors so that is how you can create a link list in case one is not already available on your template so we are going to configure this link list at the top which is the main menu so click on this pencil icon and what we'll do first is to remove all this so we just, just click on the dustbin icon here remove all of them So what we need to do is to look at the sorting. You can choose not to sort your menu so that it will appear exactly as you add it. So which means the first item will be the first on the left and the second item you add will be the second here like that. If you choose sort alphabetically, of course there will be there will be the menus will be sorted uh, alphabetically. And if you choose reverse it will be sorted Z to A. So I will choose do not sort and then number of items to show on the list. Just leave that one to show all the items that we are going to add. So the first thing we are going to do is here to add the home, but home is not necessary because there's this home icon on this on this template. But we are going to now if I I save here and refresh um let's see if i save here and refresh you should see that our menu is now empty and we are we are going to start adding the the menu items depending on the the labels that we have here so i'm going to, to look at the most the i'm going to use the labels that have the most posts so i go back here to my post and then let's see communication if i click on communication you see we have many posts under the communication category so that is the first the first menu item i'm going to create so go back to layout link list at the top here no this is not the one actually this one is this one here the very top we shall edit this one later but now we are dealing with this one actually 
this one here so we're going to click on add an item then site name is going to be communication and then the url so to get the url for this label i go to my labels here communication i can right click on it or just click on it and then copy the link that will be in the browser address bar here and paste it here what i encourage you to do is not to is to delete this website address from the menu because if you change your domain name this will remain and users will get a 404 error so if you just remove this domain and start with slash search slash label slash communication that's basically all that is needed and this one you can remove it and this will work fine so this is the format that we should use to, to create this this menu slash search slash label slash the the category name so click on save and if i save then go back to blog tutorial and refresh then we should see here now we have a menu called communication and as you can notice our home a little home icon has disappeared and we are going to add it again click on here on edit then add a new item call it home and for the home page you can just type slash and that should be it then i want to move it at the top here so click on the arrow that moves it to the top and click save now we should see that our menu item is back yeah there is it is okay i will create two more maybe three I'm going to add software tools, management tools, and tech news. And then uh, under tech news, okay, under communication, we are going to add two submenus, telecoms and telegram. These are going to be submenus under communication so that you can see how to create submenus. So if I want to create a submenu under communication, what I will do is go back to the edit. Then under communication, add a menu item, site name should be telegram, and then the link is slash search slash label slash telegram. The label name should be exactly as you set it. If you started with a capital letter, please make sure that even when you are set, setting it here you start with a capital letter because they are case sensitive now if i want this telegram to go under the communication what i will do is just to put is to put a uh, an underscore before the starting of the name this will indicate that telegram is a submenu of communication and click save then you can add another one which is telecoms then it will also be a sub menu of communication so let's put telecoms then i put it our the format as i have showed you the search dash label dash telecoms then save save here and see if that is working you see the submenus have been created telegram and telecoms now what if i want these telecoms to be a sub menu of telegram the way to do that is to just add one more underscore 
here you can edit and then you can add another underscore there you put two underscores that means this is a sub menu of this and then if i put three that if i want to maybe create a sub a sub menu under telecoms i will have to make it with three underscores and that's how it will work so click save and let's preview the change now we have communication telegram then telecoms so we need to add other two so now if i click add a new item and now if i don't start with an underscore that will indicate that i have i have moved on to a new menu item The same format such slash label slash so software tools let me hope this is how i typed it here software tools looks like it has a space let me see yeah it has a space so a space can be represented by percent 20 here yeah, you can type percent twenty to represent a single space. That should work. And click save. That is only if you have a space between the words that form the label. Then we are going to add one more item, which is take news. So the site name take news as you notice that the site name i can add a space and that is okay but in the label you have to be careful with it as such label dash take news that is how the label is appearing so i save save this And we have our menu so we can add as many many items as we want and if i wanted here i can now add a, a link that points to my youtube channel maybe i can call it videos so let's do that add new item i'm going to call it videos then i can add a youtube link by this time i will have to start with https youtube.com then i put my channel link like that click save and then save refresh now we have it here if i click this one it should take me to my youtube channel just like that by the way i didn't tell you to subscribe so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet that is how we create menus and add links to other sites and pages on our site so this same way we can create the menu in the footer and the menu up here when we are we reach at the stage where we have to edit this that is what the same method we are going to use we have two menus at the bottom here and then at the top here so next in our video will be how to create the legal pages so that our website will be ready for monetization for the next part and those other parts that will follow uh, in this blog tutorial the link will be in the description or you can just check out the full playlist don't forget to subscribe to the channel